G'day everyone, Sonia Bernard here with Linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today is Tuesday, 27th of December. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrate. And um, if you celebrate something different, then I hope you had fun with that too. Oh, got my volume up again. I will learn one day. <laughs> okay. Okay, so today for Technique Tuesday, I want to bring you something using OxyClean. Yes, OxyClean. I had never done this one before either. I love going around and finding new things that I've been crafting for 10 years but never done it. So um, that's what a lot of Technique Tuesday is about, is um, scouring the internet, finding techniques that may have been forgotten about, kind of old, you know, and trying to bring them back and refresh them because we have new stampers who have never used these before. So the card we're making, I'll go ahead and show you what this technique does. And you see this background here. That is what we are going to do today. And I wanted this card to be simple. Um, this is more like a sympathy card that I was going for. That's the style I was going for. Something that lets that background really shine through. And um, I think this really lets it pop. And I'm gonna zoom in here. Will you see how um, right here, it doesn't stamp quite properly. That is because of the actual technique. So if you see that and you're like, why won't it stamp? Um, it's, it, that's supposed to happen. So this is quick and easy. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's just give that a second to catch up. So um, we're gonna need a little bit of scrap piece of paper underneath because we wanna get a little blendy. I hope I've got my um, words right today. I think I did the mirror. So this is just a white piece of um, cardstock, three by a four and a quarter. It's just regular um, basic cardstock. I guess you could also use this with water paper, but I didn't even try. This, this just worked. So what I did is I've got my three colors, and that is Calypso Coral, Crush Curry and Bermuda Bay. Now you can pick whatever three colors you want. You could do one color, you could do two, you could do five. It's totally up to you. And um, then of course I just took my blends and I blended in um, some ink. So if you haven't done, used a blender before, I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, you just tap, tap, tap onto the ink pad and then I always give it a little tap, tap, tap here, then start rolling and roll on. If you don't give it that little tap first, you can get um, a lot of like heavy marks in there. Instead of being like smooth like this, there'll be like darker sections, lighter sections. And then you just build the color, tap, 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 do a little tap, roll on, start off the edge and roll on and you will just build color that way. So this is not a blends technique class. We all, if you don't know how to do that, that's how you do it basically. <laughs> and so you keep going and layering up your color till you get something a lot darker like this. You wanna be heavy on the color because you want the effect to really show through. So go heavy with the blends. I always just keep mine in a plastic bag when I'm doing like a class that I know okay these are the three I need for that class and then I'll put them back in a holder oh we have a new blend oh can I even say we have a new blends holder coming out in the mini January 5th oh my goodness and smaller blends like the actual brushes we got little baby ones so um if you're interested in that let me know reach out Okay, then we're gonna get our OxyClean. And my dogs are going crazy. I hope that's not coming through on the microphone. And I, I had this old tray. I don't even know where I got it from. I've had it for years. So I just suggest a tray or something to put it in because these little granules go everywhere. And all we're doing is getting, I mean, you could probably get a teaspoon you know, a small plastic spoon or something. You don't need a lot. And the more you put on, the more you're gonna get. So if we just want a little, you can go heavier in some spots. And this would give you 
like this. I think this is what I did with the first one because the second one I went a little heavier. So just tap it on. The more you put on, the more of a kind of like whitewash effect you're going to get. So we'll go light on this one. And, oh, I spilt it everywhere. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. This big old mess to the right. Sorry about this. I don't want to leave this up here. This is um, bleach. So give me a second. Oh, I'm going to be wiping all this down later. Okay. Then we just get our, um, this is just a spritzer and it's water in here. Okay. And we are going to spritz. It's going to curl up. Don't worry about it. And this is going to be a very light one because I did not put a lot on it. Okay. And it's still just rising. <laughs> so what I did then, that is, that is actually going to be very light. Because I did, I really did not put a lot on that. The good thing is, if, if you wanted to add more, you could simply just add more. It's not a problem. Um, you want to leave it for about 30 seconds. You can already see, I don't know if you can see this here. Let me hold it up. That is already starting to um, bleach out some of the color there. So um, you want to get your heat gun and start drying that because you want to get all these parts off. You don't want all the... The detergent left on there so get a heat gun dry it and then just wipe off the um, rest of the powder and then we are left with this is one that I did I put quite a lot on here so I should have kept one from when I first did it well here let me <laughs> let me um, tell you something here we go oh which one now I can't tell which one it was Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is the one I did where I went heavy on it. I'm sorry. This one here. So this one I inadvertently <laughs> sprayed um, stamp and mist on it. This is a very old bottle. I've had this for many, many years. I just keep refilling. So I accidentally sprayed um, some stamp and mist, and then I was like, oh, no. So I put the OxyClean over top of it. But you see, I don't know if you can tell, this one's a lot more spotted. Can you tell the difference there? So then I was like, oh, well, what happens if we just put um, Stampin' Mist on it? And it actually gives this really cute little uh, watery effect, kind of like when you flick water on it. But I feel like it just um, bleaches it a little bit better than water. So you could also try, who knew we were going to have two different techniques, um, get your Stampin' Mist. And I just spritzed it and then got the, the heat gun and, and dried it. So this one I'm doing, as you can see, very heavy compared to this one here. Well, it's heavy, not heavy. I don't know. Next thing I did was get the, um, my... My brain just went bloop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you, do you ever just like have a total where your brain just won't work? Stamparatus. There we go. It's usually if you stop thinking about it, it'll come back to you. I kept thinking stamping this was in my head. So I kept thinking stamping this. So I got this flower out of art gallery stamp set this is in the uh, annual catalog and i do like it it's very cute it has a two-step stamping but here we're just gonna for that one but here we're just gonna use this one right here and memento ink really ink that up and the reason i want to use my stamparatus is because the the bleach on the card actually prevents a little bit of ink from sticking. So you might have to do it several times over with your image. Try to find an image that's kind of all filled in because it'll really give you that silhouette effect that we're going for there. And really want to let that ink try to soak in. See how it's very spotty? So we're going to do it again. Now, if you want, you could leave it like that. If you like that effect, that's one way to do it too. 
So there's several different options. And the one thing I love about background techniques is that they're all going to be slightly different. Oh, I hope that lined up. <laughs> I feel like I just smudged it everywhere. Oh, dear. Oh, it's okay. We got some more on standby. Oh, well. Let's see. Oh, it's getting there. I think I'm going to go do it one more. Really laying it on thick here. So I did it several times over. I only had to do the sentiment once. So maybe we'll get lucky with that one too. Really pressing it on. I think that's good enough. You could keep going if you want to, but I don't want to. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Then I'm going to try to put my sentiment on here straight. And again, this is, for me, it's a sympathy card. I'm thinking of you, um, whether someone has, has passed or maybe a, a beloved pet has gone or it's just a rough time of year. Christmas isn't always fun for everyone, so... Okay, and don't worry that it's curling up. Once we glue that down, that'll go away. See, that one worked great. So we've got our sentiment stamped. Then I cut out a frame. This frame comes from the Fabulous Frames dies. And these are really cute. I always forget I had them. Oh, that's one that I cut out a while ago. These are great if you're a scrapbooker too. You can use them to um, frame your pictures with. So that's really good. I think my daughter's coming. She doesn't know that I'm recording. Uh -oh. <laughs> she heard me. So once we, we've got our frame and then I'm going to use a different colored card base here um, just to make it different. Just to be different because I think it's still going to pop really good be a little bit brighter to me this is you know you could go masculine feminine type thing so of course this is really basic we're just really putting it together now and this is Calypso Coral and we did a, a basic black frame to tie in that um the stamp there So we'll just pop this on here and I really do like that stamp and mist technique that I kind of just stumbled across so that's fun so I'm definitely gonna do the same thing with this one as well make you another card and then this might be a little bit off I did like I measured it and I think when you put the water on maybe it makes it shrink a little bit with the heat and stuff so if you're cutting this, you might want to cut it like an eighth of an inch bigger on both sides there. And that might help alleviate that little gap there. But I don't think, I don't think you can see it too bad. I don't think it's really that bad. Make sure we're gluing that on the right way. How many times have you been giving a class or you've been in a class or you've just been crafting and you have glued everything on the card upside down or back to front. So always check <laughs> that you're going the right way. And just really like kind of push this down. I think it gives a great, kind of like a whitewash splattered um, background. And then I just took a little bit of the um, Simply Elegant trim. I think this is in the annual yeah this is why I put the dots on there my if it's a green dot it means it's in the annual catalog that's how I try to keep track of everything because I honestly can't remember a lot of stuff and then my little bow I think old age and Hashimoto's and then stress of course stress is a bad one okay so this you'll notice when you use this elegant trim the knot could slip out very easy just because it's so slippery and shiny. So what I do is try to hold it, keep it closed. 
I'm using my bow maker. And then I'm pinching. Oh no. <laughs> I'm pinching it to stop it from unraveling. And then put it on that glue dot. And that should keep it all together. And then. And then we can just trim that down. I still cut this at an angle, even though it probably doesn't need it. And then a little bit of bling. And these are the, they're called festive pearls, but they're red and green adhesive fat pearls. But they're red, green, silver, and gold. And they were in the mini, but now they're being carried over, which is great because I love them. They are a lot of fun to use. And we're going to use some more gold ones here and stick them on okay so and if you wanted to do more actually I'm putting an order in so I'm gonna order more of these you could just put a little extra there we go just depends how many you want to throw on there and there we have it I hope you like that um, I hope you try it um, it was a lot of fun and it was fun stumbling across the stamping mist. I just think that's hilarious. You know, when you just absent minded, pick it up, start spritzing and there you go. So um, again, you can like, when you do the water technique, you know, if you get water and you um, flick it on there, it'll give it more like a raindroppy effect. But I think this makes it just a little bit whiter. I'm not sure. I'll have to like compare maybe after I finish this video. But um, there we have it. I hope you love it and thank you so much for all the love and support on my channel it really like really 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 is appreciated and I love doing this and um, I hope that you are learning something if not I'm providing at least some form of entertainment for you <laughs> but um, yeah thanks guys I, I love it and if you want to see me live I am live Thursday at 3 on my Facebook channel which is linked by ink at stamps ink paper on Facebook Okay, hope you can join me. Bye.